Guys, check out the progress on the tori. He's really cranking along now. From last time, we got the dummy motor back in there, cross member loaded up, and uh, we basically fabbed up the hot and cold side. Took it round to our good buddy Wayne, and he welded it all up for us, and really came up a trick. Uh, the thing we've done a little bit different is we've taken the exhaust out out at the left hand side of the bonnet simply because we're looking at trying to get a four inch pipe in this wheel arch which is going to create way too much heat for the driver on the driver's foot and just ground clearance and that would have been an issue so and we thought it would be a pretty cool thing having flames shooting out on the start line maybe um, blow Pete Townsend's glasses off who knows but uh, we have been contemplating whether we have a little bit of a truck flap on there, but the boys are not, not too keen on that, so maybe in the comments, if you, uh, you're supporting the truck flap, just get on there and roust them up a little bit, because uh, that Cletus McFarlane deal is pretty cool. But um, yeah, we plan on having a little turn down in here, so that'll take up that area. A little turn down with a bit of mesh on there. Um, we did think of putting the steamer pipe turning out here and coming out one of the flutes and maybe a few flames shooting out there, but we we sort of got a hold of ourselves and thought we might be getting a little bit extravagant. But um, yeah, basically everything's everything's mocked up in there. We've measured up for all our lines, all our 90s and 45s. We've got a mechanical pump going down in this little gap here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, all the lines have been measured and ordered and pretty much that motor can come out, engine bay painted and then we'll go back into the last time. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, this is the uh, primary engine uh, and that's a 16 gallon Hillborn pump like off a door slammer sort of thing. So we just made up a little bit of a bracket so it's going to be mechanical fuel pump sending a ton of fuel into the rig and whatever it doesn't use just gets returned back to the tank. Uh, our mate Johnny Trumpet asked, he, he machined up some little brackets for us here. So this is just off a big block chev, but we got it machined down to suit the forward hub. And yeah, that'll turn half the speed of the engine. So 8,000 RPM here, 4,000 there. And that'll supply plenty of fuel for her. Uh, the other thing we've been doing, we've got the chute cable. That's all mounted up and you know, got a nice swivel there so the cable doesn't feel too much uh, angle. That's all come up really good. And tin work, all the tin work's just dummied up in place just with a couple of rivets to hold it in place. And now we're going to tear it all out, continue all the bead rolling right throughout the car, but we just had to get it in there to get all the bracketry mounted up and in place. And when it's all riveted down, it'll be all nice and tight. And a couple of those bends, they tuck under the tubs and it will be actually quite neat. All the bead rolling will continue on through, through all the door trims. And yeah, that's the same deal there. That's ready to rip apart, go to paint and sort it. Then uh, we had to finish a couple of things off the back here. Uh, Connor, Connor loves his wings and uh, Love designing sort of the end plates and stuff like that. So, yeah, the big thing we you've got to consider when you're doing a wing is the surface area. You need a good a good surface area of deck because you want to. The air comes over the back of the car. You need a nice flat deck, and you need to trap that air on the deck. So that's what the spill plates are for. Instead of the air running straight off the top of the car, these spill plates trap the air on top of the deck, and then. Uh, track it out through the back. So even without this wicker on the back you can still make a bit of downforce on this deck with just the air being trapped on top. So it's a bit of a compromise how big a wicker you run as to how much drag you create. So if you have a 10 mil wicker on here, 10 mil resistance, that will really push this wing down and create a lot of pressure on the back of the car. Or you've also, and you've also, if you make it too big, you're going to lose too much mile an hour. So we've started at 12 mil on, on the wicker here, and we may go up or down a little bit as, as, as time goes on. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to, sometimes you get the spill plate and it sort of covers the whole back corner of the car and you sort of lose the identity a bit of the, the car. So we've, 
We've got it in line with the edge of the body, but still able to see the tail light and that classic Tirana shape there. So we're happy with how that turned out. And today we just finished off the wing, uh, sorry, the parachute mount. And that's just quite a simple fucking deal there, but it's strong, eh? And And uh, yeah, that's done, ready to go. The cable's just got to get pulled through. And very happy to say that we can put the grinders away now. Everything's getting pulled down and um, the car can go off to paint. Um, so yeah, we're absolutely wrapped with that. Um, you're painting, Dad. I'm not painting it. I fucking did the panel beating. I've done all the fabrication. Next minute, I'm the fucking engine builder. Painting it? No way. I'm not painting it. You can stick that.